Now, in the past, we've done quite a few videos on the subject of Avalokiteshvara. A lot of it has been on, really, on the iconography, because the the art styles belongs to uh, sort of a different category. And uh, when we're looking at specific uh, Buddhist or Hindu subjects uh, and figures, then we're really talking more iconography. Now, one one small topic that we we haven't really covered is uh, a kind of an anomaly where we have peaceful forms of Avalokiteshvara um, and there are some wrathful attributes uh, in the painting or on the sculpture. So this needs to be looked at just a little bit. Now, now we did um, just in passing talk about this with, uh, with a video on, uh, I believe, on the Zamatok, um, Chakra Buja Avalokiteshvara. So, but here we'll talk about it a little bit more clearly. We have we have four forms of uh, peaceful Avalokiteshvara, which can have slightly wrathful ornaments or attributes or clothing. And <clears throat> the first is four, one-faced forearmed Avalokiteshvara, uh, the, the absolute standard one-faced forearmed. We actually have two versions of this. We have the one that comes from India, and then we have the one that comes out of the Manikabum, uh, allegedly coming out of the Zamatok. Uh, but I don't know if it actually says that he's wearing a tiger skin skirt. So we have to investigate that a little bit more. Um, so it's possible that, that it's uh, both are from India. So we have one version, which is very rare to find in painting or sculpture, where we have the one face forearmed Avalokiteshvara wearing a tiger skin skirt. And this is referred to as the uh, Zamatok. Um, then we have the Hala Hala Lokeshvara. And uh, this is three faced and six armed. And um, in some paintings, he will have uh, a tiger skin skirt, but he will also have, uh, it can have um, a skull, a kind of a skull crown. It's a skull ornamented crown where the skulls are not the prominent feature of the, of the five leaves of the crown, but they're just ornaments within the five leaves that are, that are decorative gold. Okay, the next is uh, the Gina Sagara Lokeshvara. So that's a one-faced, four-armed red form of Avalokiteshvara. Now, what we find with the Gina Sagara, where he has a consort, then the consort is semi-peaceful, semi-wrathful. A uh, Vajra, uh, uh, Vajra Yogini, Vajra Varahi form. And she has bone ornaments and, uh, bone ha or, and uh, wrathful hand attributes and such. Uh, it might even be possible that there could be a tiger skin on some paintings of the Gina Sagara with consort. Without consort, is much more peaceful, so we don't see this uh, this anomaly of of a mixing of peaceful and, and wrathful attributes and and decorations. Now the last is the Nilakanta Lokeshvara. Nilakanta is the blue throated uh, Avalokiteshvara, and uh, once again he's wearing a tiger skin lower garment, and he may have some other. Um, wrathful attributes at times. Uh, so you have to be uh, careful when looking at, at, uh, at the different um, characteristics of it. So these are the, these are the basically the four. I, I'm not really aware of, of others, but it's possible there are others, of course, especially within the Terma tradition of the Nyingmas. Uh, but coming out of India, these appear to be the only ones, the, the Chaturbhuja of the Zamatok tradition, Hala Hala Lokeshvara, especially of the Tashi Lumpo tradition of painting. We find this more with Tashi Lumpo art, where they have the, the skull crown decorations. Then we have the Gina Sagara with consort only, and then we have the Nilakanta Lokeshvara. And the Nilakanta Lokeshvara appears to always have the tiger skin skirt um, coming out of, out, of, out of India. So we'll leave it there. You can press like, you can subscribe, you can join Har on Patreon, and you can make a donation on the homepage of Himalayan Art Resources.